let's just get this over with. Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome to Sonic Forces. Oh Christ, I am not looking forward to this. Let's just get this, <laughs> yeah, let's just get this over with. instrument of destruction! Every defeat, every humiliation at the Hedgehog's hands will be returned a thousandfold by my unstoppable creation! Ah, this is... Oh, is... <laughs> you thought I had issues with the I Lost World story? The oh, Christ. I really don't want to play this game, but it's... It's not a long game. And we need to just get it over with. I... Yeah, cause like... First cutscene, like, instead of just doing... Like, starting to do things slow, and uh, making... And Eggman being a threat by just... You know... <laughs> doing what he's usually does. He has to like, shove it in your face. Like, oh, he's gonna... He means business this time. It's like... That's not how to uh, write a character. That, that's not how you should write a plot. Just... Make them do the thing, you don't need to be like, oh, yeah, you, did you know that we're trying to make this a serious plot this time? But that's not how this works. And, god, I... There are very few things I actually like about this game, so I'm gonna be not the most nice, uh, not the nicest uh, during this playthrough. But yeah, another thing, like, I mentioned before in, like, Lost World, I think, where they uh, started like going a bit too crazy with um, the level callbacks and whatnot, and yeah, it's just Green Hill, but with a l none of the uh, interest interesting level design or set pieces of like generations, and it's already over. Now, to be fair, that is the tutorial level, but. I had to do barely anything to get through that, like, at least with, like, Windable Isle Act 1 in Unleashed, there was, like, quick-stepping, home in a sec, there was, like, platforming involved, and it was difficult to get an S-rank, even. Is everyone okay? Like, that was just a whole lot of nothing. Yeah, that's pretty much how I roll. Okay, let's finish this, Eggman. It will be your finish, Sonic. Behold the power of my ultimate masterpiece! <laughs> Huh? Shadow, it's you? Zavok! Oh boy. Metal! Chaos! You gotta love the false advertising because Shadow and Chaos are not gonna be boss fights. So they're, they're literally just there to be a uh, fan service and nothing else. Wait, it's something else. Gotta scan him and figure this out. What are you? How are you doing? Go! Nice. Tails? I need to know what's going on with this guy. I'm trying, Sonic, but these readings are all messed up. They don't make any sense. Go! 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 You're running out of time here, Tails! Go! And we can't... <laughs> we can't have cutscenes or anything for this, like, it's just... text. Because... oh my god. This game just makes me upset, dude. Eggman's army is unstoppable! Without Sonic, the people are losing hope and giving in to despair! Despair is a luxury we don't have. I still dream that Sonic is with us. Do you think he might be? I'm an optimist, but I'm also a realist. Sonic is gone, and, and Tails is... <laughs> Tails has just lost it. Yeah, remember that line. We're going to win. We have to do it without them. Silver's right. We've been hoping for a miracle these past six months. But I'm afraid we have to make our own miracle. Eggman's army has everyone terrified. If we want the people to rally, we have to show them 
that strength doesn't just come from numbers. Not everyone is terrified. Isn't a new recruit joining us today? Yes, a survivor from the city, right? I'm accessing the file now. So this is a... Uh... This is an element of this game that I... It's definitely one of the be better parts um, of the game. Like, you can make your own custom avatar, which is something that um, a lot of Sonic fans have done over the, year over the years, so, like, making this a feature in a game definitely makes a lot of sense. Um... Guess I'll just... Be wolf. I don't really care too much what I do here. Uh, that's fine. Go with that. And, uh,. Oh, do I need to? Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> Knuckles, what's the sit rep, Commander? Happy to see you're all still alive. Eggman's forces have chewed through our defenses at Green Hill. Assistance in the city is reporting that whatever it is that finished Sonic. Sorry, I'm still not used to saying that. Whatever it is has got them running in fear. All except for this brave kid yeah, boy. who survived the battle and made it here in one piece. Meet our newest recruit. Hmm. Doesn't look like much. Neither do you, Charmy, but I still managed to find a use for your pointy butt. <laughs> here, kid, take this. We're depending on you. Okay, let's get going, everybody. The world's not gonna save itself. Right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay, so you know how they talked about how like Sonic's been taken out and like they think he's dead and he's been gone for six months and the world has been taken over. Well, listen to this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. I cool. just received some incredible news. Sonic is alive. <laughs> what is the point? Is he? <laughs> if you're gonna, if you're gonna have this whole point in the story where Sonic gets knocked out and everyone thinks he's dead, um, you wanna, you probably wanna have a few more levels before the characters realize like where he actually is and that he's fine. <laughs> Jesus, dude. This The writing in this game is just astronomically awful. No way. That's excellent. What? Oh, thank goodness. I knew it. I knew it. Like we can't have interesting uh, like tension uh, or anything. We we can't have They've been torturing him. These uh, characters go through uh, interesting arcs or anything like that. It's, it's just immediately just Solve it before it even began, basically. Like, what's, what's the point? That's horrible. We have hey. to rescue him. Plan's already happening, Amy. I've got a squad on the way to the spaceport in the chemical plant to borrow a shuttle. Come on, guys. Who's up for an old school style jailbreak? Okay. So, yeah, th this game has a lot of those cut se cutscenes where it's just a bunch of like text and like the character heads and all that and yeah it, they're not great it they kind of got some of them just kind of go on for ages and they're not exactly interesting or fun to listen to and it a lot of this game is just a lot of like tell don't sh don't show it's like oh Eggman's taken over and like um the the world is like in shambles basically but the game doesn't like show you a cutscene or anything of like Eggman actually getting to that point in power 
it just gives you some text that it's like, oh, I guess the world's screwed now. And this is such a... This game in general is just such a missed opportunity. This is le legitimately the most disappointing game I've ever played in my life. Because I... I've made it no secret that I, I'm not the biggest fan of, like, 06, for example. But at least 06 had, like, interesting ideas going on. And, like, it had a passion behind the project. This game just feels like it was made because it had to make a Sonic game in time. And... I, I mean, I'm not going to say it looks ugly or anything like that. I think visually this game looks fine. I think the the general art style is kind of lacking, but um, like graphically it's fine. That's not the, really the issue. Um, like this is the first game that they used where they used the Hedgehog Engine 2, and it's there. It's not the be, it's not definitely not the best showing. Uh, like. Unleashed looks better than this game, and that game came out in 2008. This is 2017, but eh, it is what it is. Like the engine itself is fine, but like the and like visually, like the game is the game is fine. Like I said, but like it's just it just has such a boring art style. Like it just feels so nothing, honestly. Like the l games like. Ge like generations unleashed colors even like lost world like though the environments popped so much in those games and the and even though cut co like colors on the wii for example didn't have like the fidelity of the hd games it still had a very good art style and the levels popped so much stuff like starlight carnival asteroid coaster aquarium park like all those levels just had just a, just such a distinct identity to them, and this game just doesn't have that. And now for more pointless shoehorning in. That should have done it. I couldn't figure it out for you, buddy. I'm sorry, I wasn't smart enough. Huh? Whoa, chaos! Sonic, help me! Oh god. Because yeah, go going out to try and fix Omega equates to having lost it. You're alive! Wait, what? And also oh, carrying over Chaos you're Zero. Sonic from another dimension, aren't you? Right, 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 that makes sense. I'm not sure I I'm not sure there's anything I like in this story, dude. Like it has it's basically basically lost world um again but worse in the sense that like it has a lot of good ideas um like the idea of Eggman actually like taking over the world and you having to get it back that's a really good idea for a game but it's just done so so poorly <laughs> And yeah, Classic Sonic is here because Generations is a good game and we need to uh, bring him back because we need this nostalgia bait. And yeah, I, this is just awful. For, for starters, they got rid of the they got rid of the uh, instant spin dash from Generations. You have to uh, like hold down and do it normally like the classics, which is fine, I guess. But like. I don't know why they they would go out of their way to make a uh, classic like play worse. Like he doesn't feel anywhere near as good to control. And, like Generations Classic wasn't perfect. I made that abundantly clear in the Generations LP. But he still felt fine for the, the level, level design given, and it didn't feel like I was constantly having to fight the controls or anything like that. Because Classic in this game. While he does have the drop dash for Mania, which is a nice little thing, and the, the drop dash should pretty much just be a mainstay at this point because it's such a good move to use and it's very natural. But yeah, in terms of just general movement, Classic Sonic just feels so awful to control. Like he feels stiff but loose at the same time, and it makes just making the like the most simplest of jumps feel like a crapshoot sometimes. And he's just a really unfun character to play as. And, again, the fact that they got rid of the instant spin dash automatically makes him less fun to play as than in 
uh, generations, and he has some of the <laughs> some of the worst levels in in this game. Is not great. I mean, But yeah, since we have an avatar character, we constantly get rewarded with like new clothes and like accessories and whatnot, just to liven liven things up a bit, I guess. anything else right <laughs> that pretty much sums up this whole game's story in, in a nutshell like they're trying so hard to make this serious but then you have lines like that and it's just like mm. <laughs> you all know what to do let's go get Sonic cool all right let's change up our avatar a little bit shall we Yes, yes, I know how to do things. So it's just... Just a lot of fun, <laughs> random customization you can do. Just to make your character... Uh, some weird abomination. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. Nah, I don't like that. Yeah, that's... We'll go with that. And then Wisp on. We can only use the... The Burst Wisp right now. Okay, that's that's fine. I will say this. At least uh, this game has a better reward system than Lost World did. Because I I mentioned throughout that game that... I don't think the Red Rings gave you enough mid like unlockables and whatnot. Um, and I will say this. Th this game does constantly reward you with like clothing for the avatar and whatnot so at least that's something i don't think it's as engaging as like unlocking like concept art or new abilities like in generations but you know at, at least it's more than what lost world gave you so i'll give it i'll give it that so, yeah another thing that's just that's just really awful and this is this is the case for all three characters so classic uh, modern sonic and the avatar is that they don't really have a you don't they don't really have like momentum or anything that to build up their speed or they like they don't gradually get faster it's basically they have like the normal running speed that you start with and then they, they kind of just boost into full speed at a moment's notice and it just it feels gross like it doesn't feel natural at all and it makes like again it just makes the simplest platforming more of a chore than it really needs to be. Like, it's when you have the controls that I I mean, they weren't the best in the boost games, let's be fair, but at least I could tell uh what like uh what am I trying to say? Like I could 
control the characters reasonably well, even if they, even if like precise controls weren't exactly the boost game strong suit. But this game just, it tr I feel like it feels like it just goes out of its way to be as bad as possible to control. And ish. <laughs> God. And again, these levels are just a bunch of nothing. This is the end, Sonic. Oh, hey! Sounds like the party started! Wanna let me go and join in? No? Of course not! Yeah, so they tor tor bleh. They tortured Sonic for six months. This totally looks now, like a tortured boy. Sonic, and he's not. Getting out of your chains does not make you free. Now come and face the inevitable. Like they could have had an interesting arc where, like, Sonic actually uh, questions that, like, he can they their words. They like, they could have had an interesting plot where Sonic is like questioning if he can actually, like, say like save the world this time or or something like that, and actually. You know, give, give an interesting point for his character, or I don't know, just do something. Like, like well, the thing with this game is that like it, it does th these things where it's like, oh, Sonic's being tortured, or Tails has lost it. But then, when you see the characters, that's just not what's going on at all. And like, so Sonic is like the same he's always been. Like, and I, again, I mentioned this in Lost World, but one thing I really don't like about these um, 2010s games is that they cut out a lot of personality that these characters used to have. A lot, not, not even just that, but just so much depth that they used to have in, like, the adventure era and whatnot. Like, even, like, again, 06 to, and, like, especially stuff like Black Knight. Uh, th like, that, that stuff is just not there anymore. It's just one-dimensional characters that just are so boring and it's like they can't do interesting things with them it's like they it's like what you call it it's like they can't do anything like they always have to be the same they okay that was good um like sonic always has to be the same <laughs> cocky ass <laughs> in these games. You can't actually show compassion or um, have like show a softer side like uh, like in Unleashed, for example. Or he, and you can't uh, have like interesting uh, differences in um, philosophies or whatever, like in Black Knight. Like, you can't have any of that depth anymore. And you can't have Sonic go through an interesting arc where, like, oh, he's actually being tortured for six months and he's, like, in a really weakened state. And, you know, that that would have been for a much in, much more interesting, like, story. Like, it, it would make the end of this game a lot more climactic and it would feel like something of worth actually happened if he had to... Like, you know, actually, um, like, work through that and not, ju not just be immediately fine. <laughs> Oi. And yeah, this, this, this boss is the thing. It's probably one of the better bosses in the game, but that's not saying much. Like, I mentioned, I did say how Lost World didn't have the best bosses in the world, but at least they were over quickly and they weren't too intrusive. This is just boring, dude. Like, and there's another thing with this game where, like, it refuses to give the, to give the player any sort of challenge. You'd think when he, when he, when Zava sent, like, does the ground pound attack, you'd have to jump to, uh, you know, get out of the way and not take damage. But not in this game. You just, you just sit there, and then you attack him. It's like, the hell, dude? No! How could I 
lose to the likes of you again. That was a blast. Bring some chili dogs next time. Good. And let, let it... Let it... Um, let me be clear here. I don't want to dislike this game. And... I've made it... I made it abundantly clear in the past that I do enjoy most of the, of the Sonic games. So, e so with me saying that I don't like this game and find it to be like just such a missed opportunity in pretty much every way, that should tell you how much this game just didn't deliver. It's that sound again. Whoa! It's not time for thinking. It's time for running. I will say this, I don't think the music is ter I mean, it, it depends on the level. So, like, some of these tracks are terrible, but, um, I do like a decent amount of the modern Sonic tracks, at least. And I will say this, this view here is incredible. I, I don't think this game is, like, ugly or anything, like, I, I don't, like, I don't think it looks bad, like, again, visually it's fine, and stuff like this, like, this is this is an incredible view, but it's still, just it's still just not my favorite in terms of just art style. Like, man, I, I don't know, dude. And yeah, just some of the things from Unleashed in Colors. I do like this theme though. But yeah, the, like comparing this level design to like any of the other games, it's just so. It's just such a bunch. It's a bunch of nothing. Like even the like opinions on stuff like Shadow or 06 aside, at least the levels were interesting. Like, th there's just nothing to say about these, like, they, they're they over before they start, but even then, like, it's, it's not even just a matter, matter of the fact that they're linear and they're short, it's the fact that, like, they're just nothing levels, there's not a lot of interesting stuff going on, there's not a lot of things to interact with, there's not a lot of paths, um, and you, a lot, there's a lot of level design that's just boosting forward mindlessly, and it's just... You can't get into these stages. <laughs> like, there's some cool stuff you can do with speed running, I guess, but like, just these levels on a base level um, are just. Th they're nothing. <laughs> like, wh what else do I need to say? And I, it. Jeez. It makes me. I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but it makes me laugh when people say that this is. This has this game has the same type of level design as Colors. I I don't know what what game you guys are playing, but Colors has really good level design, and there's like I've been saying, there's reasons to replay the stages to find a bunch of different pathways, and there's reasons to engage with the level design. This game, there's no reason to do anything. Oh sure. Don't even bother to ask how I am. Sonic. Amy? I'm so glad. Hello, baby. Hello, Is there an exit around here? Your concern is touching, Knuckles. <sighs> the uh I okay, I will say this. The voices are fine. But the voice direction is just Sonic, not, finding not you good. alive is the best I'm news sorry. we've had in months. And here's the bad news. Our intel indicates Eggman's got a weapons factory in Green Hill, pumping out munitions for his war effort. A factory? We can't take out Eggman's home base in Metropolis if he's got a factory supplying him. No kidding. 
Look, Sonic, I know you just got back, but we're spread thin. Can you take care of this? We need that factory in Green Hill destroyed. Take the rookie with you. You sure about this? The kid was shaking like a leaf the whole time we were at the Death Egg. That's because it's cold in space. The factory is nice and warm. It will be when it's burnt to the ground. Sonic, you take the lead. Rookie, and just make sure you take good notes. I got six months of payback I'm just dying to spend. This sounds like a good start. Okay, so I, I may as well change my whisper just to show off the different ones you can do for, use throughout the game. And I will say this, I do think the Wispons are a clever way to bring back the the Wisps um, without, you know, the, uh, what should we call it, doing it like Lost World did where it just kind of felt like they were there for no reason. Like at least the Wispons gives you, give the uh, player character an interesting like set of weapons to work with that like aren't too far as like actually giving them guns like in chatter or anything like that. Um, like, I, I don't have too much of a, of a problem with the Wispons in concept. But I think the Avatar is probably the best aspect of this game, but it's still not great. Like, level... It's, a lot of the this game's issues can be uh, chalked up to level design just being nothing. <laughs> but yeah, it's like... I do, I do like stuff like this, like the different wisp ones you get gives you like different abilities. Like we never saw light, lightning wisp in these games, but it was one of the abilities that it was one of the wisp powers in Lost World 3DS. So I do, I do like that. It also there's also the burst wisp from Colors, the uh, Colors DS. So I do like that. I do think there's a decent amount of variety with them. And it's probably yeah. I it, it's I definitely wouldn't say that the uh, uh, it's as good as the implementation of the West is, as colors, but it's definitely the it's definitely the the best um, inclusion of the West since then. So I, I'll I'll definitely give the game that. Yeah, how about? There's so little you can say about these stages, like... <sighs> like, how many times can I say, oh, linear, boring? Uh, well, no, okay, let me let me rephrase that. How many times can I say that these linear, nothing stages where you just kind of hold forward and do nothing um, the are Super uninteresting and or pointless? Or just hurry. Guys, it's him! I'm looking forward to a second round with this guy. Okay, let's do it. So, yeah, speaking of linear level design, that's pointless. I'm not even gonna say anything, just, just watch. Yeah. You see what I mean by how nothing level design this is? Like, this set 2D section is like, there's at least some stuff going on here, but like, you can just kind of jump past most of it, and then, and then you go back into 3D here, and now it's just boost to win. It's like, I don't have to do, I have to do like barely anything if, if at all, like, but what? What is this level design? And then just go on the spring, please. Like, there's one interest. There, there's one alternate path where you can take. Oops. That's me expect thinking the game would let it, like want me to jump. But no. just. Yeah, you have this or not. Because this game controls like wet ass. Like, even just trying to go to different pathways just 
can go this. Oh my god. See how much I'm trying to. I'm struggling just to do this. Like, what is this? Like, the fact that I have to fight the game <laughs> to get up here. <laughs> Jesus. Just let me up there. Okay. And then that's the level. Oh, no. Nice. Well, that's the end of the game. Oh, you know what? I, <laughs> I think I messed up, actually. I think I turned... I, I think I might have the uh, stage conversations turned off. You're not really missing much, but I should change that. missing dialogue but yeah. this wasn't part of my agenda but I'm always happy to crush a hero it keeps the rabble in line shows them that there is no one does anyone but you believe your lies Source of my power is none of your concern. Sorry, but you've just got to share the secret of your power with me. I insist. You're insisting. Whoa, 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 whoa! Sonic, you okay? Hooray! <laughs> yeah, these cutscenes are also just really boring. Like the. There's nothing interesting going on. They're just the the animation just isn't exciting. Still fresh. It's kind of just a lot of just standing around and talking. Haven't you seen a hedgehog before? Come on, I'll show you my spines. Hey. Yeah, first boss with infinite. Certainly interesting that we're. Uh, fighting on this uh, snake from the from the the actual level this certainly a boss <laughs> you might have more fighting than the other round. let's see how many seconds you last payback time at last <laughs> yeah I got nothing to say here this is just a whole lot of nothing uh, I get. I will say this. I do like how the infinite bosses. Like, if you get hit by the weird red cube stuff, it does like weird 
like effects and you start having to avoid like spikes and other obstacles. But that's a cool idea, I guess. Max, I can grow. I get more powerful every second. I will teach you to hold that tongue next time. You can count on it. Hooray. I'm sorry if I don't sound very enthusiastic, but like... I... I swear these unlockables are longer than the actual stages to, uh, sometimes. Well, you've improved since the last time, but you will still lose. As I predicted, you're not even worth the effort to finish off. I gotta figure out the secret of his power! And now we're back to... Failed Sonic. The... Uh, well, this crap. I mean this world, Sonic. And Eggman's monster got him. But you're here now. It's like the world needs a Sonic. Any Sonic to keep things in balance. If we defeat Eggman, this war will be over. We can figure out the secret to his power. Maybe we can get you home. Hey, the sensor is picking up Eggman. Let's hurry. Green Hill, Green Hill. Also, music. We've got to find Eggman quick. Let's see. The meeting I picked up was through this way. This area is still relatively undamaged. Enemy is here somewhere. You better be on your guard, Sonic. Yeah, how about that music? God, like... It's like this game is trying to be bad in every way it can. Like, oh my god. It controls, like, ass a lot. <laughs> There's, like... Specifically the classic Sonic like, music. Like, the Avatar music is fine, and... Uh, I do... I know, I, I do enjoy a decent amount of the modern... Sonic and Avatar's stage themes, but God, what, what is going on with these classic themes? Like, they're just so ear grating, and it's, it's like compare this stuff to like Generations, which had some really good uh, remixes of uh, old themes and whatnot. And then you just have this, where it's just like, what in the hell happened here? Like, it's like they went out of their way to make it sound bad. I I don't know. I, I don't understand. It's like... Yeah, the only good thing I can say about Classic Sonic in this game is that he has, has a drop dash. That's it. Oh. Okay, I, okay that was just me... <laughs> I, I that, that was just me ch trying to ch uh, check something. I didn't know if the, if the bridge actually fell. Like, I, see over there. This I, I will say this, I do think, funnily enough, I do think Classic Sonic probably has the best level design of the, of the characters, but that doesn't mean anything when, when the, uh, <laughs> the character himself controls like garbage. Hooray! I don't know why they can't just give you all the unlockables you got in, like, one fell swoop. I don't know why it has to do that so slowly for... Oh yeah, also this game has like SOS missions which 
I never really understood the point of, so I'm just not gonna bother. And with that, the disposal of the Phantom Ruby prototypes is complete. It was a defective model. It could only record the DNA of the one that triggered it. Only a being with my strength of will could ever activate it. It doesn't matter now with the lab locked down in Mystic Jungle. Which reminds me, didn't you run into Sonic there after he escaped? Yes, but he was powerless against me. There is no need for concern. You let the hedgehog live? That is a great source of concern! For you, perhaps. He has beaten you for decades, yet I defeated him in our first encounter. Phantom Ruby prototypes? And Sonic is alive? What is it? Nothing. We move forward with the plan. Of course! When it's complete, the resistance will be erased. The world will be nothing but ashes, from which a glorious Eggman Empire will rise. And the resistance will yield to the Phantom Ruby's power. All will submit. So, we can't have an interesting new boss, uh, like a new Eggman mech or anything. Oh, well, first off, we have to have this clown music, but then first we have to have this uh, callback to the Green Hill fight, which, I mean, fine. But then... To surpass expectations is the ultimate of genius. I wouldn't expect you to understand. And then we had to have the the Egg Dragoon back for the third time. And yeah, I, I loved this fight in uh, Unleashed, and I loved it in uh, Generations. They, they were both very good fights, very climactic. And uh, uh, well, the, uh, the Generations fight is uh, decently challenging, and the Unleashed fight I like for how uh, climactic it is and what it means for the characters and just the general setting. But then you have this where it's just like, it's just a, again, it's just a bunch of nothing. Like, it's a case of like, oh, we're bringing back the Egg Dragoon, don't you love this, guys? It's like, no, that's not why we like, we, we don't like the, uh, the Egg Dragoon because it exists. Like, and it's just such a much less interesting fight than either the Unleashed or Generations version. And it's, the music is laughable. Like, what is this? Like, I'm ab I'm actively getting upset now. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, and that's it. It would be a challenge to crush you here, anyway. I'll round up the entire resistance sooner or later. Just you wait. Can you tell I don't like this game? And the thing is, like, it's not a case of the game being broken like 06. Um, it's... It's just fundamentally flawed. Like, you fighting like you've got a chance to win. It's adorable. But you have like you have stuff like Project 06 which fixes a lot of issues with with that game. And it shows that if you just if you just fix how the ga how the uh, how the characters control and other tweaks here and there to make it more fun to play just in general. Like, you can fix a lot of problems with that game. But the thing with forces is that you can't really do that. If you make these characters better to control, like, that would be good. But then you still have these characters being playable in such brain-dead levels that do nothing interesting. So you, you have to have uh, these, like, mods that, like, re that reimagine the stages from scratch. Time to heal. Because we've engaged enemy forces at Seaside Hill. We can't spare anyone. Also, that's the only. I think that's the only um, time they 
mention Seaside Hill. You don't <laughs> ever actually go there. Uh, go there. We're pinned down under heavy enemy fire. Man, looks like I've got no choice. Okay, rookie, I've got a tough one for you. I need you to head back to the city and save those civilians. And it's more telling now, like, because uh, I recently, like, did a race in uh, Sonic Heroes. And just going through those levels that have, like, so much personality, uh, and some of the best level design in the series, in my opinion, and, like, all that good stuff. And then just go going to something like this, where the levels are just a bunch of nothing, it's just a bunch of straight corridors with barely anything to interact with or find different paths in... Uh, uh, <laughs> like, what is this level design? Like, it's true that these games have have had their linear moments in the past. Like, that's not a bad thing. I don't, I don't think there's some something inherently wrong with a game being linear. Because I'm, like, if for for an example, like, I'm at the time of this recording, I. I started uh, the Sly 1 LP, and that game is very linear so far, but I'm having a lot of fun with it because the linear level design is very focused and it feels like I have to interact with the obstacles to the level design, and I can't just mindlessly blaze through things. But then you have this game where, like, you have to put no effort into finishing any of these stages, they're over before you know it, and the enemies are just laughably nothing. Like, this game is just nothing. That's the best way I, I can describe it, dude. Right. Some of the music is good. Uh, visually, it's not my favorite, but it gets the job done. Fine, fine enough. And... I like the... Uh, I like the idea of the Wispens. That's about all I can think of, honestly. I'm not trying to be negative. Oh, excuse me. I'm not trying to be a negative nonce or anything, but like, I literally can't think of anything else I like about this game. Update from HQ. The enemy's on the run. Mission complete. Well done, everyone. Yeah. Hmm. Like, maybe if you're a speedrunner, you might get some mileage out of this game, because there are some cool tricks you can do with some of the Wispens and uh, Sonic's boost, for example, but if you're just trying to play the game normally, it, it's ju there's just nothing here. <laughs> 